Tuesday, March the 30th, 2020. The lorries and buses rumble by, but life is essentially on lockdown as COVID-19 gets its icy grip across us. I've just returned from dropping off the weekly shipment of pikelets to me ma'am, and there she handed me a not unfilmed copy of her latest piece of literature which she has just finished. Uh, perchance it is the same literature that many of you have requested I do today's reading from. So please pray silence for a bit of Fifty Shades of Grey. My heart is beating in time with the pulsing need in my sex as I root through the box for the lacy bits I seek. I'm ravenously ready. For a moment, I wonder what to do about the panties. Christian's avaricious fingers tore right through them under the dinner table. There's no point in keeping them on. I make a mental note to always buy two pairs of panties with every set of lingerie I purchase as I hook my thumbs underneath and slip them off. I reach for the beautiful bra, giggling to myself. Such a waste. Probably won't keep it on for very long. I fasten the garter around my hips and as I bend to slip the silk stocking over my toes. I catch sight of the perfect red handshape on my rump in the floor-to-ceiling mirrors of the closet doors in front of the bed. A hot flush races over my skin, almost matching the hot pink of the handprint. I feel Christian's presence behind me. From my vantage point, I can only see his sexy naked feet peeking from beneath the black tuxedo slacks. I blush deeper, thinking of the view he must have of me, pantyless and bent over like this. The admiring sound he makes can only be described as a feral growl. Stay as you are. His masculine commanding rasp almost has me convulsing on the spot. His hands bracket my hips. Firmly, he pulls them further back as he grinds himself into my behind. No, oh, fuck, he hisses. It's so beautiful. It's so hot. Today, a blute thoroughly and in all the crevices.